how are you? Good. I've had a look at your Celebrate Learning Toolkit, and I saw you crossed off setting an alarm, which was one of the goals you set for yourself last time. Good job. Did it help? Did you remember to journal every day this week? Yeah, except for Monday, because I was really, really sick, so I just turned my alarm off and went back to sleep. Oh, sorry to hear you were sick. How are you feeling now? Heaps better, thanks. Really enjoyed meeting Melissa too. Her dragon pictures are awesome. She didn't want to type up my story though, but she helped me write a timeline of stuff I could remember, so it should be easier to organise all my papers now. That's great, well done. Do you feel pretty happy about that? Yeah. That's really great. Well, it sounds like you've got your writing pretty well under control. You're journaling, you've got a plan with your story, and you're making progress. Did you do anything else this week? Learn anything new or have any interesting experiences? I slept over at Grandma and Grandpa's last night. Oh yeah, did you do anything interesting with them? Well, I just watched TV pretty much all afternoon till dinner time. But then I helped Grandma make shepherd's pie. I made the mince and mashed the potato. It was really yummy. Hey, that's cool. Is that the first time you've ever made shepherd's pie? Yeah. Well, you should add that to your Celebrate Learning Toolkit. That's a new experience for you. Oh, okay. I didn't make it by myself, though. That's okay. You could add a plan to make it by yourself sometime. Okay, that was pretty easy. I don't know when I want to do that, though. Um, how about next weekend? Okay. Remember, just putting in some deadline will help you be more motivated to get it done and you don't just want a long list of dreams that don't have a deadline because you might never do them okay all right what i'd love us to do today is search for some new ideas for things you might like to do in the future if you have a look on your ideas tab down the bottom you'll see i've added a couple of things related to drama and writing because those are the things we talked a lot about last time but um, I also added some things about food and cooking because you mentioned about the scones last time and now you've mentioned about making the shepherd's pie. So I'm getting the feeling that you maybe like cooking or food. Yeah, I really like eating food. Making food's pretty fun too. Oh, nice. Okay, before you pick which ones of those you want to do, um, let's go to the link up the top. So that underlined bit, go hover over it, click on the blue link. And it's going to open up the Celebrate Learning Ideas Hub. You can use these drop down menus here to search for things. So you've got animals, technology. Can you search for horses? I really love horse riding. I've only been on trail rides, but I want to be able to ride by myself. Uh, you could type horses into the box, but it probably won't show up anything. So if we do that, it just goes NA, which means there's no search results um, but you can go to all and go control F to find and type horse and okay there we go there's one result way down here um, how does that one sound it looks good but it's pretty far away all oh, right that's in a different state um, well you could google horse riding lessons and see if you can find something and you can still add take horse riding lessons to your toolkit. Uh, you'll just have to figure out the specifics later, maybe talk to mum about it. Okay. Alright, how about for now we go back to this drop down menu and we pick animals. Okay. Let's have a look at the search results. Any of these look good? Feeding a pet is too easy. I do that all the time, but I don't want to put it on my lap. What's this one? Help. Sirens of spies reporting on animals that you see. How about you have a look at the website? Go, yep, same, hover over with the blue. Oh, yeah, that looks cool. Oh, I like to use the camera I want to buy too to send the scientists photos of the animals I see. Great. Okay, go over to the row number, right click, copy. And then go to your toolkit and right click on this empty cell here and go paste. I could have just done control C and control V. Oh, yeah, 
Okay, that's, that works too. Can I put finding a camera on the list too? Because it's something I want to do and I have to do it for the other one with the animals for the science. I got some money for my birthday and I really want to buy an underwater camera this week because we're going snorkeling next Saturday. Oh, cool. Yeah, sure. Type it in. And you want to do it this week, right? So that could be the deadline. Yeah. Do you know what type of camera you want to buy yet? Not exactly, but my friend has one that's silver and it takes really good photos. So maybe you should talk to her. Can you add that to the steps box? What other steps could you take to make sure you get a good camera at the best price possible? Um, I could look at different shops, maybe look on eBay. I could talk to like the shopkeeper guy at JB Hi-Fi or wherever we go. Definitely. Add that in too, to your steps. Oh, while you're on your snorkeling trip, can you add in an idea to send me some photos that you take and maybe do a little story? I would love that. Okay. You don't have to send the photos and stories to me by Saturday. Like, that's the day that you're going to be taking the photos and snorkeling. And I mean, you can if you want, but maybe just think about, do you need a couple of days to think of what you're going to write or get back to your computer? What do you think? Well, I won't have my computer. I won't get back till Monday. Um, I'm pretty busy, but I could maybe do it by Tuesday. Okay, Tuesday it is. Want me to send you a message or to remind you if you haven't done it by Tuesday? Um, yeah. I won't be angry. I just, that's the day that you said, and I'll be looking forward to seeing your photos, so... If you can't do it by Tuesday, you can tell me when you might be able to do it. Change the date on your toolkit and I'll look forward to seeing them. Is that it? Well, that's up to you. You could think about what you want to see or what you might see while you're snorkeling. Look up the kinds of fish that you might see. And if there's one particular one that you want to keep an eye out for, um, you can keep looking through the ideas of things that you want might want to do as well or... Um, brainstorm, talk with a friend, talk with um, a parent about what you want to do or what, what's out there to do. There's lots of fun things out there to do, so you can add as many things to that list as you want. Um, don't Just don't make all of them due by tomorrow because, you know, you've got to be a bit realistic. <laughs> um, I'm going to go now, but, yeah, you can add in as many experiences as you want. And if you need any help, just send me an email. Okay, thanks. Bye. <laughs> Bye.